this on you, but there's been a bit of an incident. There's always something. Hey, you're back. Sorry to spring this on you, but there's been a bit of an incident. There's always something. I can't really deny that. So what is it this time? Prime Minister Tatalka has returned. You're kidding! Do I look like I'm joking? She's one of the seven Yan was talking about, right? Yes. Renal Tatalika. She served as Prime Minister for the Empress, and she was a supporter of Eon and Nay. Where has she been? I haven't seen her since I went into cryostasis either. We can talk details inside. Her Majesty the Divine Empress has informed me of the current situation. The appearance of the Maternal Overseer appears to be interfering with the operation of the ship. Renal, how long do you think this ship can continue operation? Given that the power source has been switched back, the threat shouldn't be immediate. However, with the Maternal Overseer raging unchecked in the placenta, it's difficult to predict. If we cannot eliminate the Maternal Overseer, then our first priority must be escape from this vessel. But how could we do that? Where would we go? To the planet that was our destination when Ross Yella was destroyed. We should be able to make it there, if we sing Ciel N installed in my Genometrics, Class Distalista. Class Distalista? What does it do? Simply put, it can tear open space-time to allow the transportation of matter from one place to another. Like a wormhole. Will it work? For one, if we can't survive the trip, then there's not much point. To be honest, it's never been sung before. My memories were broken by Nello immediately after we created it. I see. So this song was a threat to Nello's plans. I awoke from cryostasis about ten years ago, a while before any of you, along with several scientists and soldiers. We conducted a long-range survey, starting with the former location of Rossiella. We discovered that there was a faint connection to the planet we'd meant to travel to. A trickle of energy. I had the scientists use that connection to program a song that would allow us to access the planet. That song is Class Distalista. So this song can move everybody to the other planet? Why don't we just do that right now? Unfortunately, that is not possible. Even using Her Majesty's power, it could likely send two people at the most. Then doesn't that seem kind of pointless? Perhaps. But we have lost our planet and will soon lose our ship. What other choice do we have? If the song succeeds, we could gain the support of our friends on the other side. It is a gamble, of course. Unfortunately, given the situation, it seems like the only possible solution. The question is who to send, and what they should do once they reach the other side. I don't know what we should do, but it seems obvious who should go. What? Who? Me. Wait, Delta. What are you saying? I'm the only option. If something happens, I should be able to get Earthus's help through Interdemand. Um... Earthus and I can go instead. I mean, you have Cass and... No, let me go. Whether or not I succeed, I don't have much time left. I want to use that time as effectively as I can. You understand, right, Cass? That's... It's not fair to put it like that. And I guess it's decided. Okay. I'll sing the best song I can for you. Thanks, Nay. I want to go too. Are you serious? There's no guarantee you'll get back. You know that, right? That's why I want to go. I'm Delta's partner, after all. I can go, right? Yeah, of course. Alright then. May, I'd like you to sing that best song for me too then. Sheesh. Fine, but make sure you listen closely. Then our plan is set. To go to the other world, we must use a part of Rossiella. That is where we should begin. Where's that? The Singing Hill. A place once called the center of Rossiella. Can I count on you to help me prepare the song? Oh, of course. I'll handle any singing you need me to do, but I'll pass on any kind of mechanical stuff. I'll take care of that. 
We need to make sure we're ready before we open that space-time pathway. Delta, can you and Cass come with me to see Shirataka? Sure. Let's get going then. That was the center of our former planet, Rasiella. It is the last fragment of the place we were born, and the home we destroyed. What kind of lives might we have had if our planetary migration had been successful, I wonder? I'm sorry. It didn't work because I couldn't do my job. I'm not attempting to assign blame. In fact, your song did not go to waste. What? Even now, there is still a thread of energy between the distant planet you linked to and this place. The song I am about to install into Her Majesty will use that energy to transport people there. Okay. I'm sorry, May. I always have to ask for your help. What are you talking about? You need to have more self-confidence, Eon. You're a lot more amazing than you seem to think. I know I'll always fight to the death, but you're really not that different. You never give up. I can do all this because I know you're here. Even if I screw it up, you'll figure out a way to fix it. You've got my back. You won't try and run away, right? Of course not. Good. That's a load off my mind. If I do this wrong, you can handle it. Wait, no. I can't. I don't have the voice of the Empress anymore. I'm just messing with you. I just mean I feel better with you around. Besides, if it comes down to it, I'll give you back that power before I die. Just like how you gave it to me. What? Th that's... um... Th that's a secret! I'll never tell anybody, ever! Alright, that's enough. I'm glad you're friends, but it's time to start the installation. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm beginning. Your Majesty, please try to relax. Quayle Exeter. Nea Flask, Class Distalista. I've never felt something like this before. This song is amazing. Like it could consume everything. It's called Class Distalista. I suppose you could say it is our last hope. Class Distalista. The place to sing it is a little further on. We should make our way there now. Looking great! Good! Don't underestimate me! 
Just a little more. Wow! Perfect. So much more intense. So much more intense. Don't underestimate me. This looks really good. Keep doing that. More, more. Looking great. Looking great. You're doing great.
Now let's get started. Come on, let's finish this. That's right! Really, Brooke? Don't stop now! All right, time to unleash everything. Good. Let's keep this up. We're putting an end to this. Really good. How about this? Don't lose momentum now. Really good. Let's keep this up. All right. Time to unleash everything. Nice. How about this? I'd like to see you stop this. I'm in. Come on, come on, let's go. All right. Time to unleash everything. Really? I need this to How about this? Don't lose momentum now! Don't lose momentum now! How about this? Don't lose momentum now! That's right! We're putting an end to this. Good! Good! Don't lose momentum now! All right, time to unleash everything. Leave this to nice. We're putting an end to this. Good. How about this? Nice. Not bad. Big one coming through. Not bad. That's right. I'd like to see you stop this. Here I go. I'm counting on you. We're putting an end to this! Good! How about this? Don't lose momentum now! Really? That's right! Come on, come on, let's go! Perfect! Alright, time to unleash everything! Really? How about this? Come on, come on, let's go! Don't stop now! I'd like to see you stop this! Leave this to me! Here comes more! Get ready! Alright, time to unleash everything! That's right! Leave this to me! We're putting an end to this! How about... Come on, come on, let's go! How about... Not bad! Gonna give you everything I've got! I wouldn't expect anything less.